So today we're going to be reviewing Edgewise, the ritual weapon for Shadow Keep slash Season of the. Wait, no, is it Season of the Undying? It doesn't matter. So, out of all the all the ritual weapons I could have gotten, I for some reason ended up going for the weakest one in my opinion, and you guys will see why in a bit. But let's first talk about how you get this gun. So. Complete the following objectives in Strike Playlist to receive the Solar Machine Gun Edgewise. Earn points by defeating enemies. Difficult strikes grant the most efficient progress. So this all means that you need to get 10,000 score, 1,000 machine gun kills, and 1,500 solar kills. So let me give you some tips first and then we'll start talking about the gun. So in my opinion, do as much strikes as you want, it doesn't really matter. But for me, the easiest way to do all of this was I went into a strike and if it was one of those strikes where you can go into the open world, I immediately did that. Like a perfect example was Lake of Shadows. That one's notorious for just people leaving and doing fucking whatever they want, which is what I ended up doing. I ended up just going out and getting a bunch of solar kills and machine gun kills. So. If you want to kind of complete both of them at the same time, you can use the machine gun from the Menagerie. That's a solar one. If you have, what's it called? It's an LMG a while ago though. If you have the Avalanche, which was the Dawning 2018. If you have that, that's solar. Other than that, I'm pretty much sure that's the only solar aside from Major Eyes that is. So, if you have the Avalanche, use that. If you have Fixed Odds, even better. I think Fixed Odds is way better for it. But, the other thing is you're going to have to get the final blows for the solar. So, if you want to do that first. Honestly, it doesn't really matter. But, if you want to do a really fast one, a really cheesy one. If you're a Titan, then go for Middle Solar. For the middle solar tree and then from there just hammer everything because you can pick up your hammer which does yeah not only that but i'm pretty sure they got a buff where they got like a damage multiplier for each kill they get with a solar ability uh unless it's not but i never saw that so you can pretty much one shot a bunch of shit so just do that a bunch of times it's actually a lot of fun as well not only that but if you're doing one of the bounties from or not bounties, but if you're doing one of the quests from Zavala, which is like you have to get like a bunch of solar kills, that one also stacks with that, so you might as well kill two birds with one stone. So, machine gun kills and final blows, like I said, you can do a bunch of strikes if you want, or you can just stick to one strike and then just do everything like that. For the score, that's going to be a little more tricky because it's a little bugged at the moment, because when I was doing it, I was doing a bunch of strikes. And then like around 70% it stopped, like just stopped. So what I ended up doing was I went to the new night, Nightfall and I just did a bunch of that. I did the 920 version of it and I just did a bunch of that for until I got it. Not only that, but if I'm being honest, I would farm all of that in the Nightfall because the Nightfall drops a bunch of stuff like exotics. What is it? Prism? No, not Prism. I'm sorry. Uh, the new material to, to level up your stuff and enhancement cores. So if I'm being completely honest, do the Nightfall. The Nightfall is very rewarding. If you can do if you can do a higher version of it, go for it even more. But like at the point, like at some point, you're going to have to do the Nightfall. So just do that a bunch. I ended up getting like three exotics for like in a run of like two three hours which i think is fine it's not that crazy but especially since i wasn't even doing the highest one i was doing like the second one so yeah i think that's really worth it so now let's get to what i think about the gun so i have the gun it's right here let's see what it does so it's a rapid fire frame it has polygonal rifling for the increased ability increased ability light mag for the increased reload and it slightly increases the range but what i'm actually really looking forward to is the feeding frenzy feeding frenzy for me is my favorite favorite perk in the game right now it's just so good like 
it's basically outlaw but without having to get a, a, a headshot i love that i just I, I love it and rampage so you could obviously use these two these two are going to be really strong you can do demolitionist if you want i think i'm going to use demolitionist if my warlock gets this uh this lmg but more likely than not i'm probably just not going to use this lmg to be honest with you because at the end of the day i'm not a big fan of it like at all so i'm not a big fan of this gun for for several reasons i think the stability is fine on this gun it's way better than actually uh the other 900 rpm guns but there there's another 900 rpm gun that is way better than this gun perk wise and uh just a bunch of stuff ammo economy wise and stuff and that's the pinnacle weapon the 21 percent delirium I think 21% delirium outshines this gun by like a mile. Like I said, the shooting is fine. I can actually, you know, shoot my shot. It's one thing I don't like is I don't like serial weapons because the model's fine. Like the weapon frame looks cool. I look, I, it, it looks fine. It's just the the reticle and all this like the light up is i just not a big fan of that but like it's just it's fine like i'm i'm kind of tired of seeing guns that are just kind of like yeah it's fine it's not nothing crazy like i was i was expecting like because when bungie was saying like oh they're basically weapons that have roles that you've never seen and i'm like oh shit that sounds cool as fuck all right but but in my head what i was expecting was something like maybe yeah like multi kill clip with rampage or multi kill clip with surrounded or something like that like something where it's just like ooh that sounds like a, mm, that sounds like it could be gross cuz like imagine <sighs> surrounded no not surrounded yeah surround no imagine multi kill clip with rampage with the rampage spec right here this would be gross this would be really gross it would be super cool is it a bit broken uh probably not considering like we have a bunch of stuff that's already kind of broken but not like really it's at the end of the day this does nothing for me especially like all right like i said if i go back to my 21 percent delirium this gun is good this gun's really good guys like let me get that heavy down there look at this did not even have to reload not only that i'm on overflow right now and i'm on killing tally so that's it killing tally times three what if i remember correctly it's like a little less uh stronger than rampage times three but even then this stays on forever so my dps is outshining anything that has rampage or the edgewise that has rampage because i can have killing tally until i have to reload so i think for me this gun just shines so much better because at the end of the day this gun i don't have to reload and if i do i i mean i'm a hunter dog i just dodge if i really need to, to, to reload but it's like picking up special or heavy ammo reloads this weapon to beyond capacity so it's usually at 115 but if i do the overflow it's 230 on top of that killing tally like i said basically rampage but it's own it only goes away when it's stowed or reloaded so comparing these two it's day and night and now i know people are going to be like tony that's not fair you're comparing a pinnacle weapon with a ritual weapon and uh is it is it unfair because it's, it's 900 rpm they're the same frame actually let me see yeah rapid fire frame it's the same thing guys like i is it a little unfair maybe but at the end of the day I was told that oh they're perks that you've never seen really because I've seen feeding frenzy and rampage on some on some things like don't yeah like this is basically a poor man's version of the recluse maybe and even then it's like <sighs> uh, at the end of the day I'm I'm really disappointed because these perks are cool but they're not enough like if I look at other uh, LMGs that I have like that one's I, I don't like this one. I just have it just cuz but like this one my hammerhead it has threat detector and surrounded that's wild and with the surround spec on it so like I, I it just kind of angers me when I hear like oh yeah you're gonna use you're gonna see 
perks on it that you've never seen on, a, on, a, on another stuff. And I'm like, well, I mean, I have Threat Detector and Surrounded on this one. And if we look at the SMG one, what does that one have? Oh, Threat Detector and Surrounded. So it's like, I mean, at the end of the day, the ritual weapons are garbage. I'm sorry. Maybe Randy's throwing knife, but even then, Randy's throwing knife is not a like, it's not because the gun's good. It's because of the frame that they used immediately made it good. Like rapid fire frame. There's no other, there's, probably, there's like maybe what two or three other guns that use the rapid fire frame and rapid fire frame on a scout is gross because scouts already, they do, they do pretty hefty damage. But with this one, most likely you're going to be doing rapid hit with kill clip for sure. There's no other, why would you do, why would you do Zen moment if you're on PC? So for me, the only reason this gun is good is because it's rapid fire frame. That's it. Other than that, it really is not like anything too crazy. Like that's the thing is like, uh, it, that's the thing that makes me angry is the fact that like Randy's throwing knife is only good because it's rapid fire frame. Other than that, the perks aren't special. There's nothing special about this gun aside from this. So like I said, ritual weapons are really disappointing. This or actually this is the first time we get ritual weapons, but it's just disappointing to see that we don't get weapons from each of the like crucible vanguard and uh, gambit we don't get weapons that are actually like oh whoa what is this gonna do because even like the really even the shitty weapons from previous seasons like the X oxygen sr3 or sr3 whatever the oxygen the bow from gambit like they weren't I don't think they were the best but they were unique and I appreciated it I was like you know what the fact that they're unique is enough for me to be like that's fine i don't really i did the grind were they worth it am i using them no but i love the fact that they were unique and that's the thing that bungie's not doing right now they're not doing anything unique if we if we look at like catalyst it's the same thing it's not unique it's just kind of like hey here's 20 20 buck 20 uh, stability it's like uh, cool i guess so that's pretty much it let me know what you guys think about edgewise am i wrong probably not but if you guys are gonna tell me you might as well tell me in the comment section so let me know what you guys think uh follow me on my social media outlets links are in the description below don't forget to subscribe and ding the bell notification and i will see you guys later